Hello and welcome to today's restorative yoga class. I highly recommend that you put on a long sleeve, maybe have a blanket close by so that you don't get chilly because we'll be holding poses for a longer period of time today in a very supported, relaxed way, which means your body temperature will drop. You're also gonna to wanna to have some bolsters or pillows, some yoga blocks, really whatever you have around that can provide some support so that you're not feeling anything too intense while you're doing these poses, but you're really allowing your body to relax and your nervous system to calm down. All right, we're gonna start our very first pose is gonna be a supported child's pose. If the ground that you are working on is a little harsh, uh, feel free to uh, double up a mat, put a blanket down, whatever you might need. So to get started, I am going to, and you may stack your bolsters as high as you need to, but I am going to take one bolster and I'm gonna put it right between my legs. I'm gonna have my toes together and my knees wide. From here, I'm just gonna come forward. I'm gonna place my head down on one side and I'll tell you when our halfway point is so that you may switch to the other side. If that feels too low, too intense, just add another bolster or a block. Again, this is really about you feeling as comfortable as possible so you can truly relax in these poses. So go ahead and find yourself there. Feel free to close your eyes because we're going to be here for the next three minutes. Just enjoy the sounds of nature. Try to deepen your breath. I'll spend a minute and a half on one side and a minute and a half on the other. If you happen to have your head face down, then you'll just stay where you're at for the full three minutes. Breathe into any areas of tension. On your next exhale, I'll have you switch your head to the other direction so your left cheek will be down. Well, today we're only holding poses for about three minutes. It's not uncommon to hold these poses for 10 minutes at a time. To so really, truly relax into them. Let go of all the tension. So to deepen your breath, Let it all out. Last breath, very good. Begin to slowly press yourself up. We're gonna come to a seated position. 
and you're going to straddle. And you have a couple options. If this feels okay, you can forward fold there. For me, that feels a little too intense. So I'm going to add a second one and see how that feels. Um, if it feels like too much, maybe I go with a yoga block, right? So it's really about you figuring out what feels best for you. All right. So go ahead and set yourself up and we're going to forward fold. And I think for me doing this T shape feels the best. And then I can have my head facing down. I'm getting a stretch through the hamstrings, but it's gentle. Stretch in the low back, also gentle. If you have your head turned to one side or the other, just like before, I'll let you know when to switch. If you have your head turned to one side, go ahead and turn it to the other. If you're facing straight down like I am, just leave it where it is. Hopefully you're able to start relaxing into the pose. Your body's not gripping and holding on. Begin to deepen your breath. One more. Let it all out. Beautiful. Begin to slowly come up. Next, we're going to go to a pigeon. So I'm going to turn my bolster and if you're using your two yoga blocks, you're going to want them to go across because that's going to support the leg that's crossed. All right. So I'm going to place my foot slightly over so that my hip and glute can be on the bolster. All right. And then my back leg. And if you don't have that range of motion, maybe it feels better for your ankle to be on the bolster. That's totally fine. And then I'm going to take my yoga blocks or whatever I'd like in front to support my head. So it's a nice stretch here. If that doesn't feel accessible, you can always lay down on your back and go into a figure four. But we've got our right leg, or maybe you're doing your left. And we'll just hang out here. Again, I want you to make sure that you set yourself up in such a way that it doesn't feel so intense. So if the lean forward is too intense for you or having the leg up is too intense, whatever it is, I want you to adjust.
If you still haven't been able to find a position in which you feel a stretch but still comfortable, switch to that figure four because I don't want you to struggle through this. Good, deepen your breath. Let it all out. Let's come up and switch to the other side. Again, one side may feel different than the other. One position might feel better on one side versus the other, totally normal. Find yourself there. And just breathe. If at any point the stretch becomes too intense, make sure you adjust. Like I notice sometimes for myself, it'll start out feeling okay and then as I relax into it it just becomes overwhelming because I'm able to get so much deeper so you really have to adjust because we don't want you feeling tense while you're doing this Begin to deepen your breath. Let it all out. And begin to push yourself up. All right. Let's go ahead and take that bolster behind us. You will want your yoga blocks for this one. We're going to place that bolster directly behind. We're gonna lay back on it. We're gonna have our soles of our feet together as though we're doing a butterfly stretch. Now those yoga blocks are gonna be there to support the knees at whatever angle you need them. So if you need them higher, cause this feels intense enough, go ahead and do that. But find where you feel like it is appropriate for you. You're gonna recline yourself back, palms open to the sky and breathe.
We have about another minute. And then we're going to go into our final pose. Begin to deepen your breath. One more. Good. When you're ready, use your hands to help your knees back together. Use your arms to help you roll up. Our final pose for today will be Shavasana with our knees supported. So sometimes we do our full legs up in the air. Today it's just going to be right underneath the knees, upper body relaxed on the ground. You can let your feet roll out, whatever feels appropriate to you. Just enjoy the next couple minutes. Really try to let all the tension go. And to deepen your breath. Now, if you have more time and you'd like to stay here, feel free to stay as long as you like. If, like me, you have to go, begin to wiggle your toes and your fingers. Deepening your inhales and exhales, begin to roll your wrists, roll your ankles. When you're ready, bring your knees towards your chest, 
roll over onto one side. You may open your eyes, press yourself up, and find yourself in a nice seated position. Thank you so much for joining me today for a little restorative yoga. I hope you're feeling relaxed, that your nervous system feels like it got a chance to chill out. Until next time, be well.